Today, we will take a look at those organizations, institutions, and individuals that are creating an economic environment where there's hope for the future. In the world of business in today's uncertain times, there are many challenges that companies are facing in their quest to remain profitable while providing jobs and being positive members of their communities. From historical regulatory burdens and the continuing economic downturn to protecting intellectual property and defending their brands, owning a business today is more challenging than ever. The nature of my business is to create the strategic alliances, partnerships, and joint ventures among four specific uh, parts of the healthcare system. The daunting challenge that we face today is dealing with all of the regulatory requirements that are necessary in the healthcare field that essentially drive the legal relationships among the parties as well as the business relationships among the parties. In addition to these and other widely shared hurdles faced constantly by business owners in our country today, one of the most crucial aspects of operating any endeavor successfully is the legal one. With a largely litigious society and amidst a culture which necessitates a need to regularly seek legal counsel or remedy, business owners must have a solid grasp on their legal rights. I don't believe that the average business owner in America is that is very well prepared. Uh, they're focusing on their business. They're focusing on the products they make or the services that they provide, how they can do a better job, how they can earn more, how they can make their businesses better. They're not focusing on the legal problems or the legal challenges that might face their business. In, ter in terms of legal challenges, I think the average business owner should focus on two things. Uh, the ways that the government can impact their business in terms of regulations, laws that uh, they must comply with, taxes, other things that the government will impose upon the business. And then the second side would be uh, the challenges that their employees and the business itself might bring. Being their intellectual property, their inventions, their trade secrets, their customer lists, uh, and lastly, uh, any challenges and conflicts that the business might become involved in with competitors and those challenging the business. Whether you're the CEO of a foreign-based multinational corporation, a U.S.-based publicly traded company, or owner of a small family-owned and operated business, there are responsibilities and concerns that having the proper legal perspective of can make a substantial difference in your ability to grow and prosper. In my view, um, the most cost-effective way to um, ensure success uh, is to try to be proactive uh, in understanding what kinds of legal problems can arise and to plan for them in advance. Those might be regulatory problems, uh, they might be taxation problems, they might be uh, human resources or HR problems, and to work together with the client and the client's staff and team to make sure that everything is put in place in advance, A, to try to avoid those problems, in the first place, because if you avoid the problem, it's going to be certainly less expensive than having to deal with the problem later. But even if the problem can't be avoided, if you know it's going to come up in the future, uh, you will be able to plan in advance, to strategize for that problem, and then to implement that strategy in a cost-effective way. In the legal field, one of the things that I think a client needs to know is can his or her attorney work well with others? Um, because Almost nothing is done in today's uh, legal field without working with other disciplines. They might be accounting personnel, forensic personnel, uh, insurance personnel, and obviously the client's uh, business uh, and, and IT folks as well. So in order to be successful, that entire team has to work together and the client should look for an attorney who's willing to do that, able to do that, obviously has the skill set to do that, and is willing to put in the time and effort to understand the client's business and how those other disciplines need to work together with the legal discipline for success. When I first started my business, I was a total neophyte and I had absolutely no idea what my legal rights were as a business owner or as a party trying to make a transaction with multiple parties. What I learned immediately is that you need to be proactive instead of reactive. It's the difference between success and failure. Uh, there is no in-between ground. You either have a good legal team that can work with you in completing a transaction or the transaction simply falls apart. 
in working with APS, I was very impressed at the fact that all of the attorneys and uh, clerical staff that I've had the pleasure of working with have first been interested in what the nature of the specific business deal is and what needs to be transacted in order for the business deal to m move forward. In contrast, uh, other attorneys in many cases are more interested in papering the legal portion of the deal but really don't understand or take time to understand the nature of the business deal. Without the business deal being recognized by the attorneys, you end up with a pile of legal paperwork that's well done but is unusable because the business deal falls apart. So with APS, I've learned that all of the people I've come in contact with are first interested in what the nature of the business deal is and what needs to be accomplished for all transacting parties, not just me as the client that they're representing, because if the deal doesn't work for all the parties, it doesn't work for any of the parties. To learn more about the law firm of Adler, Pollock & Sheehan, visit their website at www.apslaw.com.